You feel me, man? You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 you gonna tell that little bitch of yours to bring the shit in. Or else your ass might not make it out of here. Nigga, you still gotta wake up tomorrow, punk. Huh? Little bitch ass nigga. Hello? Hello? Uh, hello? Yeah, this is the motherfucking kidnappers and we want the motherfucking money. How much we talking about? You read the damn note. Hey, cut the chit chat and tell them how much we want. Wait, hold on. How much we want? 50 cent, fool. Hey, we want 50 cent, fool. Wait, hold on. 50 cent? Is that what all this is about? Two punk ass motherfucking quarters? Man, 50,000, dog. Use your fucking brain. Hello? Uh. Uh. Yeah. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, take me off the motherfucking speakerphone. You're making me nervous. Yeah, we want 50,000 and all fresh, crisp 20s. Dubs. Hundreds, fool. I mean, hundreds, fool. Sinos. Stupid motherfuckers. Hey, you know what? Hey, tell him to hold on a second. Tell him to hold on. Wait, hold on a second. What? Do your mama got call ID block on the phone? No, why? Stupid motherfuckers. Hang up. Hang up. Hey, I'm gonna call y'all right back. What happened? They just hung up. Now what we gonna do? You think they got call ID at a damn car wash? I hope not. Wow, Look like man. they're in the middle of the street and shit. My man played tricks on me, nigga. <laughs> Uh, shit. Hey, man, let's ride. Hey. What? what? Who are they? You know that one nigga that's always in the hood, act like you arm something, got a chip on his shoulder? That's him. You arm something or some shit? Nah, it, it just ain't worth it. Let's just ride around the corner, man. All right, let's man, go. Let's go. Let's go. Dog, let's go. Stop man. all that talk. Where the fuck you think you going? Right. It's jam. Z, what the fuck you doing to my pride? So, oh, thank God you here. I'm so fucking happy to see you, man. Why ain't you fucking happy to see you right now, dog? You fucking up my pilot. Nah, this ain't your pilot. Shit, he dressed like a fucking pilot? He's a fucking imposter. An uh, imposter? Hold his ass. Let me see what the fuck you talking about. Oh. Oh, please. Please don't kill me, Mr. Sola. Man, you on my motherfucking runway? You dressed like a fucking pilot? Nah, oh, dog. You ain't gonna just tell me everything. You gonna tell me every motherfucking thing. Hey! Watch your mouth. Maybe I can add some context here. Solo, I didn't know you were involved. My apologies, no disrespect. Come on, Richie. You know you way out of fucking bounds right now. This is my motherfucking domain, homie. No arguments here. I'm working with <laughs> Seems that briefcase is in high demand. Well, you can go tell him it's mine now. I got it. The artifact is off the market. As a matter of fact, send my regards to him, man. He understand. And be nice, OK? Fair enough. Hey, you. Yeah, you. I want you to know that the druids are coming for the blast crew. Why make it a calamity? We can settle it right the fuck now. Boyle, you couldn't bait eggs with a hammer. You know, I always heard stories about the druids. But after that, I guess they were just stories. He's not a druid. He's just a gobshite. A hired gun. But he can take a pound him, which is why he's here. You can tell a lot by a man by how he conducts himself in battle. I wanted to know how you move, how you fight, and now I know. Hey, 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 Rich, man, go on, homie. Z, don't we got somewhere to be? From now on, you got two shadows. You stare up the horses behind, you're gonna see the shite. Why the fuck would anybody stare up a horse's ass, dog? Man, look, your ass is on your third strike, man. I didn't extend it enough, all right? Don't make me pull back on it. My apologies. I haven't figured out everything, but what I do know is that this is the most powerful and dangerous thing that I've ever encountered. So you bring it to me. Man, it's always something with you and the fucking Blast crew, dog. Believe me, this time we were not looking for trouble. Yeah, whatever, homie. This level of it. You in the big league now. I kind of knew y'all would get to this point. But I wish you fucking wouldn't have talked. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry about that. Shit. You want to see what's inside? Yeah, fuck it. You ready? I said yeah, motherfucker. All right.
Oh, hell no. Nah. So you giving me a lecture about not being a good enough gangbanger? That's all we got? That's all the hell it is. I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. Hey, what's cracking? So what you think about all this? Shit, we looking good, right? Look, this is our business. You feel me? You put the bread down, shit, you the owner. I'm the manager. Franklin Clinton, dog. And that over there is my old ass homie Chop. Shit, he don't get around too much no more. Man, everybody I asked about setting this thing up, they all pointed straight at you. A genuine, real reputable. Now me? Shit, I'm a hustler that made it big. Big house, nice cars, a family, and everything. But damn, man, I miss getting these fucking hands dirty. And from what I hear, you ain't got that problem. You run your own shit, and I like that. Hey, look, come walk with me. I want to show you something. Down the streets, I know real good, because that's where I'm from. But now I work with rich folk who got rich folk problems and no fucking idea how to deal with them. What's up? Can a low come up in your crib? Fuck you, nigga. I see you at work. I don't hate me because I'm beautiful, nigga. Maybe if you got rid of the old yee ass haircut you got, you get some bitches on your dick. Nah, better yet, maybe Tanisha will call your dog ass and she quit fucking with that brain surgeon the lawyer she fucking with. Nigga. What? Oh, man. I really do. I think it's time for me to get a new chair because this one right here ain't getting it. Man, I gotta order me another chair, man. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see. Mm, let me see what what chair what I want. Let me go. What's this right here? Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try this from right here to exhale. Uh let me see. I think this is the biggest one. Yeah, let's let's get that one. Let me see. And send. Okay. Oh. Chop. Chill out. Who's this at the front door? What the? Box in my front door. Gas box. Yeah, you ordered something. How you win racing? I just ordered this damn thing. I just ordered it. Like, oh man. Oh well. Oh. Ah. Let's get it to the You take your ass up out of here. My name is Sean Fontino, but everybody know me in the streets as Solo. Sean, I just Solo! Everybody got love for Big Solo, yeah, man. Solo was the nigga. Watch, man, from LA. And um, well, I'm currently the video game actor for Grand Theft Auto V. I play the character Franklin. Fuck you, bitch. Oh, you trying to roll on me, fool? You can't repo the assets of a dead man, big sitting cheap asshole. My bad, homie. I pick C. Ain't that a bitch. You youngsters or you anybody, man, that's trying to do something. If you're trying to get into this, dealing with video games, voice acting, acting, anything. Just keep doing it. Keep doing it, man. Keep trying. 
you're gonna get your turn because everybody get a turn at best whatever you're trying to do just do it if it works it works if it don't it don't man you got just gotta remember man everything ain't gonna pan out the way you want it to but when it do pan out soak it in man just soak it in and don't let it go once you catch it try your best not to let it go you know i caught grand theft auto man come on dude that's I caught something that just did a billion dollars in three days. My voice, my likeness, my name is tied to a billion dollars. You know, I just want to shout out everybody that was in this, just went on this little ride with me, my family first. And the world star, man, for looking out for me, man, for coming out to the hood, man. Fucking with me, man, giving me a shout, man. Giving me a chance to get on something that's broadcast to aliens feel real important man I really do brother and I appreciate it you ain't got no respect I got respect for reality enjoy them holes homie yeah whatever we got Sean Fonteno at uh, Fleming Steakhouse what up man we got the real life Grand Theft Auto here Sean is also known as Franklin. He is the voice of one of the main characters in GTA 5. So you giving me a lecture about not being a good enough gangbang. Yeah. Hey, look, man, why you here? Look at that. That's what yeah, we Yeah, that's what I was see. about to see. Yeah, yeah look at bro. this. We got bro. real life Franklin over here. Cool. Um, it's just cool, if, like, especially if you play the game and, and he, it's him. Like, he is the guy in the game. I mean, video <laughs> games are bigger than the movie industry, bigger than TVs right now. Yeah. I mean, it's the biggest industry right now, so. Come on, man, I'm finna be in at least 25, maybe 30, we pushing our better million homes, man. So, man, you add it up, man. This game is predicted to reach a uh, billion dollars in sales. You can fly jets in it. I know you like airplane stuff. I'm gonna get this game. You also need a console, you know. You can't just go buy the game. Like, you need something to actually put it in. Right? Yeah, he's gonna buy the game and, like, just try to put it in the TV. Like, <laughs> puts it on top of it, like, go! <laughs> Hi, right, Chief Peace. You don't play that, homie. Yeah, <laughs> Um, And then he turned around and made me come and be the lead, one of the lead characters in Grand Theft Auto V, which is Franklin. So when it got to Franklin, it was like I didn't have to change up. I could still be me, what I grew up as in the streets, in the hood. That's all I had knew, you know, from the projects to the, to, the, to the houses, to the east side, to the west side. So it was easy for me to to, to form into Franklin and be that character because 90 some percent of the stuff you see him do in the game, I've done it or I've tried it. The strip club stuff, the, the, the trying to sell drugs, I've tried it. The gang banging, I did it. Um, I know what it feels like to be on both sides of the gun. I, I have shot at people and I've been shot, you know, so I know. I understand what it's, what it's like in the video game. So it was real easy for me to play that character because we had a lot, you know, in connection with each other. It was like I was looking at myself in the mirror when I when they was giving me the script to, like, man, reading and stuff. Like, dang, Franklin did that. I, I remember I did something like that. So it was easy for me to act that role out. So it wasn't too hard. You know, Franklin is, is solo, and solo is Franklin, you know, so pretty much sums it up with me and that dude. You see him back there. And that's the beauty of low riding, is just taking nothing and turning it into something. That's the beauty of us. That's the beauty of us, the yeah. black folks. It's the beauty of the ghetto. And this is something you put your, your heart into. You know, it takes a lot of money, man. If you build a low rider right now, it can cost you anywhere up to a hundred to two hundred thousand dollars just to take an old Chevy and redo it like this. It helped it the gangs to join something other than gangs. You know, we joined car clubs and we came from all different gangs and was part of one car club. You know, the essays, they were doing it. I can't say if they were doing it before us or not, but did it, did it, and still doing it the best. Um, everybody always wondered, like, like, like Big Y was on his page and he just spoke on something that I was gonna bring back up, you know what I'm saying? And he, and it's a hundred percent truth what he talking about. You know, we can't keep relying on this peace treaty. That shit just for right now. 
You know what I'm saying? So we got to start working on the next generation. Stop planting that same seed. See, we were, we, we was a seed at one time. He was a seed. I was a seed. And we grew up into what we did. Let's quit planting these seeds of this, for this new generation. We got these kids coming up. You know, I got two grandkids. And I'll be damned if I let them come up in this type of environment, bro. So you can call me what you want if I'm raising them up in Calabasas and sending them to good schools and, and keeping them in football. You know what I'm saying? I got a grandson that's on Big U football team right now. He a beast. That's He's seven serve. years old and he a beast. And mm. Big U will tell you he a beast. So, you know, I'll be damned if he be around and hear me cussing, hear me showing them gang shit right. and all that. We got to stop, man. We got to start worrying about these younger generations. We can't worry about us, homie. We can't because it's not going to stop right now. This is something that's going to have to happen like 15 years down the line. So we got to start looking at ourselves and go home. And I work on my family. Big Y work on his family. You work on your kids and your family. Stop bringing them up in that environment, bro. It's not Franklin. At the end of the day, Franklin... It's a game. It's a character. It's a character. You're going to be there. Sean is Sean that voice Franklin. My voice... It's still the same. My voice, still the same. You can't repo the assets of a dead man, big sitting cheap asshole. You know, I'm still Franklin in the voice and in the heart. I want to get a rundown on, you know, you grew up in, in Watts, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, take us through that 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 growing up, you know, as a kid, as a teen, and, and, and stuff of that nature. Yeah, it's a good thing you asked that, man. You know, I, can, um, I grew up in, the, in Watts, in the projects. And, um, you know, I, uh, to me, my childhood was cool until I was about like eight or nine. And then I started being abused, like re getting my ass whooped all the time, getting physically hurt from my um, my uh, stepfather, you know what I'm saying, which was my mom's um, husband. And, um, you know, he was he was whooping my ass a little too much. You feel what I'm getting at? So it, it forced me to run away and go live with my grandmother. And a lot of people know about that. When you go with your grandmother, it's like. You know, she still lived right. in Watts, too. So um, he ended up passing from um, an overdose and shit. And um, then after that, you know what I'm saying? I kind of went back and tried to live with my mother again, but it didn't work. So I ended up living with my grandmother because my mother, she had me when she was 15. So it was like it was a brother sister kind of relationship. You know what I'm saying? And um, I grew up in the city of Watts, man. And, you know, I joined the gangs. Of course, you know, every damn near all of us do that because that's all we got. You feel what I'm saying? When right. you're in the hood, the gangs are pretty much, you know, they call them gangs. But it's it's family members. It's homies. You know what I'm saying? That that That's what it is with us. But the the outside world and the people that don't understand that shit, they make it more than what it what it was. Now it's crazy. Now it's a difference from when I was gang banging. You know what I mean? Right. We did a lot of this shit. We did very little of this, but we did it. So um, exactly. You know, I grew up. I, I went to I went to school. I Man, I dropped out in the tenth grade. I only got like a ninth grade, tenth grade education. You know, been through pure hell. Um, I've been through a lot, man. Coming up, man. I mean, people wouldn't even. Matter of fact, even speaking on that, let me show you something real quick. The reason, the reason I don't want to say say too much, but I only say it for you. But I got to get you a copy too, bro. Right. You know the 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 book, man. It, it's it's finna hit, man. Everything is in there, bro. You know what I'm saying? So you know, I got All to get right. you a copy of it, bro. It's the it's That's the real hard. deal, man. It's 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 ready to rock and roll. With the knowledge that you have now that you didn't have back then. The first and most thing and the only thing I can say, man, is just soak it in. Yeah. Enjoy the moment, man. Trust in what Rockstar is going to do. Trust in what Rockstar has planned. And just ride the ride, man. No matter how the ride is, enjoy. Get your surfboard and surf the wave, man. <laughs> I'm looking at both of y'all. Surf the wave. Let, let things work the way they should work. They're going to work out fine. Trust me. I know they're going to work out fine. Just ride the wave. That's the only advice I can give them. I can't, I can get into detail about all kind of stuff that I've been through and what we went through, but that's not fair to them right. because I don't need to be um, saying things that they don't need to hear right now. Only thing they need to hear is just to continue working, work hard, um, be thankful, and just be a team player with Rockstar, man. Trust me, this is the best team that you want to be on. 
enjoy it. I'm telling you, I'm looking at both of y'all. Enjoy it. <laughs> whoever, whoever they are, because we don't know who they are. Whoever you are, enjoy it. Hopefully, yeah. God willing, that we be able to do some stuff together. Right. You yeah. know, some shows or interact with each other. It's it, time will tell all. Right. Time will tell all. So, congratulations to you guys, whoever it is. Congratulations, man. 